Today I'm gonna film a day in my life video. So before I start, I want to mention that this day is not like my regular days. Because if I would show you my regular working day, you would be so bored and probably not watch it. Because my regular days, I sit on my computer and I edit, I do mail. It's like very boring and nothing exciting really happens. Because today I have planned a few things, it is a little bit more exciting. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and to turn on notifications so you don't miss it. It would really mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means the world to me. And I'm so happy for all of your lovely comments and your support i really really appreciate that so thank you for that i got quite a few questions over the last few weeks under my youtube videos asking me which skincare products i use which beauty products i use what i do to stay fit like this after eating so many things because if you watch my videos you know that my Vlogs especially are very food oriented. I'm a foodie. I film a lot of new food spots in Vienna. I just love trying out new spots. And 
Yeah, I got a lot of questions how I stay this fit when I eat so much. I quickly want to talk a little bit about this topic because I get so many questions about it. So I would say, let's start that. And then I'm going to show you my current favorite beauty and skincare products because this was also a question I got a lot lately. If you're not into diet things and beauty and skincare, you can skip this part because I think this will be a long part. So let's start. I started my day with a workout and I mostly do Pilates workouts or yoga and I try to include more cardio in my workouts because my doctor told me that I should do more cardio for my cardiovascular health. I hope I pronounced that right. So I'm trying to include more cardio and I hate running. You can't even imagine how much I hate it. Like, there is no way you can see me run. I just hate it so much. So I need to find other ways to include cardio in my workouts. I try to do more HIIT workouts and I really enjoy those. And I also ordered a jumping rope so I can jump a little bit because that's also cardio, right? And I think it should be fun. So yeah. These are the things I'm trying to do to include more cardio and also I'm walking a lot and I try to get my 10k steps in every day which is not so easy. After my workout I have breakfast or I take a shower, get ready and then have breakfast. It depends. If I'm very hungry after my workout then I will have the breakfast right away but if I'm not feeling that hungry then I get ready and then afterwards I will have my breakfast. For breakfast I'm most of the time having the same thing. Lately I'm always having chia pudding with some toppings like nuts and fruits and nut butter. Sometimes I try to have a savory breakfast but right now I try to cut out eggs a little bit of my diet because I had too many eggs the last couple of weeks. And I don't know if I can handle eggs that much so I'm trying out to not have eggs a lot and that's why I opted for my chia pudding again. It's very easy, very healthy and easy to meal prep as well if you're working. You can also take it with you. It's also quite healthy, it's filling. I really love it. And what I also have every day is a ginger shot. I prepare my ginger shot every Sunday or Monday morning, it depends, for a week and then I will have one shot every single day. I just feel like it cleanses my body and I just feel so much better when I drink it. It's very anti-inflammatory, it's good for immune system, it's very very healthy. I use turmeric, ginger, black pepper and lemon and water obviously and that's it. You blend it and you have your ginger shot. It's cheap, you don't have to pay like a lot of money for a single shot. You can just prepare it yourself, it's super easy very healthy and good for you so i can highly recommend that to you times when i feel like i ate out a lot and my body just needs a little bit of a cleanse then i also include a green juice into my diet i do that for a few days i don't drink green juices regularly but i do parsley lemon and that's it parsley lemon water i blend that and then i drink it and yeah just feel better afterwards. These are the things I do in the morning. And because you asked me how I stay so fit, I also want to mention how my diet looks like in general. During the weekends, we just like to be out and about, try new places and just enjoy eating out. And because we eat out a lot during the weekends, we try to eat more healthy meals during the weekdays when we cook at home just to balance it out and I love eating healthy foods as well. So I'm lucky that I also enjoy cooking healthy and eating healthy. So it is not like a difficult task for me to do or it's not a restriction. I really enjoy that as well. I love broccoli, I love wedgies, I love... Broccoli was the first thing that came into my mind. Like I love broccoli. When I cook at home, the meals I cook are very healthy or let's say quite healthy. I include a lot of veggies, protein like chicken and salmon, tuna, also rice. We do love rice. But I mainly have a healthy diet because I want to be healthy. I want my body to be healthy. 
and also because of my skin. If you are following me for a longer time, you know that I am dealing with acne. My skin is doing really, really good lately. So touch wood. But I'm still acne prone and I know that if my body is inflamed, it will show on my skin. So I'm very careful or I'm trying to be more careful when it comes to the food I give my body. So there are certain things I don't eat or I try to not eat a lot of, which are dairy products. I also try to not eat them when I eat out, but of course I eat sweets which have milk in it or I eat pizza which has cheese on it. And it's totally okay if I don't overeat dairy. I don't restrict myself when I'm eating out. But at home I don't eat dairy products at all. No yogurt, no cheese, no milk, like no dairy because my body just can't handle dairy. I just feel so bloated afterwards and I just don't feel good. And also gluten, I really try to limit the gluten intake because as I said, first of all, because of my skin, gluten is quite inflammatory and I try to stay away from inflammatory food when I'm eating at home so that I can balance it out because if I'm not eating at home, if I eat out, I don't look at the ingredients as much. I try to limit my carb intake and also my refined sugar intake when I eat at home because I'm having that so much when I eat out. Like I have a lot of sugar, you know that. So when I'm at home, I try to stay away from sugary stuff in general, but especially refined sugar. I also really like making my own sweets with no refined sugar with no gluten and no dairy. I have a lot of receipts and I really enjoy making those. Because I have those healthy options, it's not really hard for me to stick to a more healthy diet when I'm at home. So yeah, that's how I like to balance it out. And if I have the feeling like if there is a week where I'm eating out a lot and if I feel like my body needs a break from all the sugar and all the heavy ingredients I ate. Then I'm doing a week of no refined sugar or no sugar in general and also no carbs. So I don't eat natural sugar as well. No fruits, no dates, for example, like no sugar and no carbs. So no pasta, no bread. I really try to only have wedgies and protein and nuts. I eat a lot of nuts. So yeah, and after that one week, I start to have a normal diet again. And I've tried this a few times and I just see how positively this affects my body. I have a much better sleep. My skin looks good. I feel more energized. I like to do that every now and then. I just do it when I feel like doing it. And I'm quite a disciplined person, so when I say, okay, I start on Monday and I'm gonna do it until Friday, then I really stick to that because I hate quitting. So yeah, that's how it works for me. Guys, the camera cut halfway through the video and I don't know where it stopped. So I hope I mentioned everything I wanted to mention. But yeah, before I stop talking about this topic, one last thing I want to mention is that I don't want to influence anyone with these kind of things because I know that diet and food topics in general are very sensitive and very personal and can be very triggering for some. So I don't want to influence anyone with these kind of things, but I just wanted to mention it and to talk about it. I hope I could answer your questions. And I would say let's get into the beauty topic. I've displayed all of them here so I don't forget anything. And don't mind me if I look down a little bit because I have my notes written there so I don't forget to mention anything. I'm gonna start with some skincare products I'm using currently. So the first two things I use for my skincare are these two. The first one is the Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O. You definitely know this micellar water. It is my 
favorite. I've been using this for many, many years. I never had any problem with it, also when I had my acne breakouts. But I don't really use this for my whole skin. I use it for my eyes, like to take off my eye makeup. This is a little travel size, which I love, but I obviously have the big version as well. And then I'm using the Avant Xeracalm cleanser, which is quite a gentle cleanser. It doesn't have anything bad in it. It also works for babies, so how bad can it be, right? I actually was using the Avant Trixera cleanser, but I think they discontinued that one because I can't find it anywhere. So I switched to this one, which is quite similar, I would say, but this one has fragrance in it, which is not ideal but I don't have any issues with it as well. So as you can see, I'm halfway through it and it really works for me. It's quite gentle, it's a gel cleanser and I love using this product. So if you're on the hunt for a gentle cleanser, I can really recommend this one. Then I was using the Anua Heart Leaf Soothing Toner. Anua is a Korean beauty brand and it is one of my favorite Korean brands. It has very gentle products and I also love the minimal design. I've been using this product a lot before I had my two chemical peels last year and it is quite a gentle product. I used it when I had my breakouts but after the chemical peels I haven't really used it. This is already my second bottle by the way so and this is almost empty so I have been using it a lot but after the chemical peels I just realized that my skin doesn't need a lot of product so I haven't been using it a lot. I recently started to include it again to my routine but I mean not really routine, I don't use it regularly. I only use it if I feel like my skin needs a little bit more of a cleanse so that I use this as an extra cleansing step. It is a very gentle product, I liked it, but I'm not sure if it really does a lot to my skin, so it's not a must step in my routine. But a product I swear by and which is a must step in my routine is this one. This is also from the brand Anua, it's the Heartleaf 77% Clear Pad. This is a toner pad which gets rid of dead skin cells, it is for acne prone skin. And for sensitive skin, it is very, very gentle. It is so gentle that I even used it when I had breakouts and it calmed my skin down a lot. Really, really love this product. It has PHA in it, which helps the skin cells to be removed. And it is just a gentle form of BHAs and AHAs. I think if you have breakouts, if you deal with acne, then this product could work for you. This is already my fourth tube. So yeah, that's how much I love it. And I already got the fifth tube. This one is already empty. I used the last two ones in the morning, but I still have some liquid left and I'm going to use it with some cotton pads. I don't want to waste any products. And normally I always order it online, but this one I got at the Korean beauty store in Vienna, which is called Mimo, I think. I will link it down below. They have a really nice selection of Korean beauty products. They are very helpful, very friendly. And yeah, if you need a Korean beauty store in Vienna, definitely check them out. I also really like the K-beauty store in Vienna. They are both in the first district. They also have a very huge selection of Korean beauty brands. But I think Mimo has a little bit of a better price. So just in case. Another toner pad I love is from the Korean brand Mediheal. I love the brand. I also love their sheet masks. I will get into that in a minute. But this is the Madeka Society blemish pad for day and night. This is also great for blemishes, for acne, if you have breakouts or if you want to get rid of some dark spots, then you can use this toner pad. And Mediheal has a lot of different types of these toner pads. Then I am currently using a product from Dr. Barber. They sent me these products a few weeks ago and I've been trying them for the last couple of weeks. So far I really like them, but I can't really tell you a difference yet. The first product I have is the 7% Collagen Peptide Derma Filler Serum. It feels really light and good on my skin and I mean it has collagen and peptides in it, so um, 
definitely going to try this. After that, I am putting on this 9.6% peptide plant complex collagen peptide booster cream, also from Dr. Barber. This is a very light moisturizer, I think really good for summer when you just want a little bit of a lighter moisturizer under your makeup. This product is really good. It feels really good on my skin. The only thing I don't love about it is that it contains fragrance because I think fragrance can be a little bit too harsh for sensitive skin, but so far I don't have any problems with the product. The next product I really love from Dr. Barber are these 10 dehyaluronic acid ampoule serum concentrates, a set of seven ampoules. And this tiny, tiny bottle gives so much hydration, guys. Like if you have dry skin, if you feel like your skin needs a hydration boost, I can really recommend you these products. Next, I have two products from SkinCeuticals, which I love. So the first one is the Phyto A Plus Brightening Treatment, a daily corrective moisturizer to enhance skin tone, clarity, radiance, and texture. It's with 3% azelaic acid and 2% arbutin. My beautician recommended me this for my dark spots and I've been using it a lot. I really love this. But then I stopped using it after my chemical peels because you're not allowed to use any acids afterwards. So I totally forgot about this moisturizer. I'm definitely gonna use it again because this was a really nice product. And I also really like the Hydrating B Plus Serum from SkinCeuticals. This is a very, very hydrating serum. When your skin needs hydration a lot, this is a really nice product. The next product I swear by is the La Roche-Posay Sica Blast B5 Plus Moisturizer. I've been using this product even before it got so hyped up on social media. I've been using this for many, many years now because it is a very sensitive product in my opinion, like for sensitive skin. It is very moisturizing. It is quite a thick product. And if you have dry skin, this can work. If you have oily skin, this could be a little bit too much. I know a lot of people break out after using this. I never had any issues after using this. I never break out and I've been using it a lot. I use it mainly during nighttime right now because i'm using this one during daytime but yeah normally i also use this before my makeup so i really really love this product and for sunscreen i'm currently using the la roche posay antelius 50 plus this one is very liquidy it doesn't break me out my skin just feels good afterwards so i use this but i also really like the the round lab sunscreen which i'm gonna link down below i ran out of it but i really love that it's also a korean beauty brand and then i have two more products skin products one of them is the dark spot correcting glow serum from axis y i think this has niacinamide in it squalane so this has also some acids in it or actives not acids I don't know if this product is really good at correcting dark spots, to be honest. But for what I like this product is for calming down pimples. I've been using this as a spot treatment. If I feel like a pimple is coming up or if I already have a pimple, I apply a small amount on the pimple before I go to bed. I don't use this during daytime. I use it in my night routine. And I feel like the pimple also looks so much better the next day. So for me, this is more of a spot treatment, but I don't really see a lot of effects on correcting dark spots. I think if it does, then it takes a long time. Another Korean beauty favorite is the Beauty of Joseon Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol. I use this before going to bed under my eyes and I really like this. Retinol is another form of retinol, I think, and it's really good for fine lines. So yeah, a really nice product. I have this product, which I think all of you have heard about it or are using it already. It's the Laneige Lip Slipping Mask. Laneige is a very popular Korean beauty brand, especially I think in Europe and in the States. I don't know if it's that popular in Korea, to be honest. But I got this in Korea at Olive Young. 
This is the mint choco flavor, which I don't love to be honest, but they didn't have any other flavor. I normally really love the vanilla flavor. That's so much better. And also the packaging is so much nicer because it's in a beige color. It doesn't smell like chocolate, it smells like mint. But this is an amazing product. If you have very dry lips, then you can apply this before going to bed. But I also apply this during the day or as a lip gloss. Love this. Last but not least for skincare, my favorite sheet masks. So my favorite sheet masks are from the brand Mediheal and they have different types. The tea tree one is my favorite. This is perfect for sensitive skin. If you have breakouts, really, really nice. Also really hydrating and calming. Then I have the Madica Society one, which is soothing, also great. Also if you have breakouts or if you have little pimples or you feel like new pimples are coming up, then this one is really nice. I have the collagen one, which is tightening. This one I don't use a lot. Then I have the hydrating one, which is the water mite. I feel like this one breaks me out a little bit. So I'm not sure about that. I'm a bit scared to use it. Also really love the round lab hydrating. Like what is this called? It's called water gel mask. This one I really love. This is very hydrating. I also really love the Abib sheet masks. I had a few different ones of these, but I already ran out of them. This is my last one. I'm so sad. These, by the way, are still from Korea. So yeah, I got a lot of sheet masks. I quickly want to show you the hair products I am going to start using because the last couple of weeks I felt like I'm losing a lot of hair so I thought it would be good to try out these products from Kerastase. This is the Genesis line and this is for weakened hair prone to falling due to breakage and my hairdresser always tells me that I have a lot of hair growing but they break before they can grow fully. I thought maybe this could help my hair a little bit. I just received them yesterday so Today I washed my hair with these and they feel so nice, very soft. Normally my hair gets frizzy a lot when I spend some time outside during the heat, but today I think they are still in a good um, shape. I would say, bless you. And I also got the heat protection from the same line because heat protection is very important for your hair. So these are the three products I got. I already tried the resistance line from Kerastase and I really like this. I still have the mask left but I thought this the Genesis line is more fitting right now for my hair loss situations. Another hair mask I really love is this one from Gizu. It's the honey infused hair mask. This is, smells so good. I love the smell of this. My sister actually got this but I think I've been using it more than her. I really love this product. I feel like this really hydrates the skin, uh, the skin, the hair. And yeah, just a lovely product. And lastly, I am trying this new hair oil thing, hair treatment. This is a rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil with biotin from the brand Miele. I just ordered it on Amazon and I've seen Tamara recommending this and Tamara has the most beautiful hair. So when she's recommending something for hair, I'm going to try it. So yeah, I'm very excited to try this one because I think my hair really needs some strengthening. And lastly, I want to talk you through my favorite fragrances because I think that's also quite a popular topic. And the first one I want to tell you is my absolute favorite fragrance. It's the Valaya from Parfum de Marly. Guys, this smells so good. It's definitely my favorite at the moment. It is perfect for summer, but all year round actually. I'm gonna tell you the notes, let me check. So the top notes are bergamot, mandarin and white peach. Hard notes are orange flower, nymphiel, vetiver. And base notes are Kigala wood, Ambrofix and musk. And I do love musky scents and bergamot in my fragrances. You will see it throughout my fragrances. This one is definitely one of my current favorites. And I also received a cute little travel size and it's so cute. I get so many compliments when I wear this. So yeah, if you haven't tried it yet, please 
go to a shop where you can find it and just smell it it's so good another favorite of mine is the celine parade fragrance this one oh my god this is also so good, but I feel like this is a little bit more wintry. So I like using this during fall and winter. This has bergamot, neroli, vetiver, musk and oak moss in it. And yeah, just a very, very nice perfume. Definitely try this one as well. Love it. And last but not least, Gypsy Water by Byredo. This was actually my first expensive perfume I would say. The top notes of this one is again bergamot, jupiter berries, lemon and pepper, heart, incense, oris, pine needles and base are amber, sandalwood and vanilla. This is a very unique fragrance. It has a very unique scent but I love it so much and whenever I wear this I also get a lot of compliments and I don't think a lot of people are using this. I don't know, Moyar, Ghost and the other ones are a little bit more popular than Gypsy Water I feel like, but I really like this one. And it is almost empty, but this is definitely a fragrance I would get again. I think that was all about it, all of my beauty favorites lately. I hope I could answer some of your questions. If you still have some questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm having dinner with my girlfriends today. We are going to one of my favorite Spanish tapas restaurants, Paco. I will take you with me. So yeah, I have to get ready. Another topic I wanted to mention is our holidays. So actually we were supposed to leave to Florence on Friday together with my parents and my cousin, my sister. But because my parents are still not feeling very well, they had some health issues since the beginning of the year. The worst is over now, but we still have some issues. Oh, yeah, we couldn't make it to our family trip. But because my sister works in a corporate job, she already had planned her vacation with her workplace. So we are going to Copenhagen this weekend together with my cousin. She's also coming with us. And I've never been to Denmark, I've never been to Copenhagen before, so I'm very, very excited because I think it's the perfect place for us. There are so many bakeries, so many pastries, like I already have planned everything and every place we need to visit. We already did some reservations at some restaurants, so I'm very, very excited for that trip. Stay tuned for the next travel vlog, which will be Copenhagen. And I think that will also be the next vlog I will share because while you're watching this vlog, I'll already be back from Copenhagen. So yes, the next vlog you will be watching will be the Copenhagen travel vlog. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm gonna end this now and we will see us again at Paco. See you there. <laughs> I'm not a 